Hi everybody, this is Pam at the Paper Outpost and I have big news. I have reorganized my craft room and I want to give you a little tour. Big things happened over the weekend. It was a two-day process. It started out with uh, organizing, um, breaking down some paper cardboard paper organizers and I had purchased a um, one made out of wood that I, yes, got to assemble. Boy, was that a lot of fun. Uh-huh. It required me and my husband to do it together. And um, that sort of evolved into me slowly pulling everything out of my craft room. And I ended up putting it all over the house. I'm going to po post a bunch of pictures onto the community tab so you can see the befores. And this is the after. And um, it was quite an ordeal, but I think it was worth it. And my big focus was it's time to bring in the pretty. That's right. Time to bring in the pretty. Pretty had a lot of utilitarian, uh, functional things, but lacking in the world of uh, department of pretty. So let me show you a little bit about what I did. And uh, okay, so let me just back out a little bit here. Do, do, do. Okay, so I had this, um, this printer's drawer and I thought that's an awesome place to put stamps that I use a lot. So I put a lot of my word stamps, which I, I use a lot and uh, just my, some of my favorite stamps and ones that would fit and reminds me to use them. It also freed up some drawer space in my uh, sliding drawers where I normally keep my stamps. Here's a, a big area where I keep a lot of my stamps. So as you can see, I've got a few, well, you didn't see, but I have a few extra doors now. And so I put in also, I wanted to have a prettier place to put my stickers. I used to have them in clear plastic bags from the Dollar Tree, which was very functional, uh, but they were piled on top of so many other things and I couldn't really, it wasn't really fun to, to ferret through them. So now I've put them in these little, um, little bins so I can go through and quickly pick and peek out um, little items that I might want to pop onto a journal page. How fun is that? Much more fun to dig through something like this than it was the plastic. I'm trying to get rid of so much plastic. I just don't like the feel of plastic myself and um, I also wanted to invite pretty things to explore. And uh, so here's another one. This is also full of stickers. Yay! Lots of fun in there to be had. Ferreting through, going through, <laughs> pulling out little things that we like. Yeah. Okay. Very fun. Very fun. Okay. And right here, accessible. It's acting as decor and as function. So that's the whole idea. And then over here, um, I wanted to display some of my very old books that I have. And uh, they were just you know, sitting under a pile of stuff, not being appreciated. And I had some dried flowers and I thought I'd add that because I wanted to bring in a sense of spring. And I also added a piece of handmade paper that I made back there, almost using it as a tack board or um, what I'm actually using it for is to hide some holes and some peeling paint because I didn't have the same paint color to cover it. So I needed something fast and I didn't want to run out and buy anything. So I thought, why not use what you have, Pam? And uh, I'm using some of the, uh, the papers, the handmade papers. So we are going to make some of those. I finally have all the stuff. And um, so keep an eye out for that. That's coming very, very, very soon. And I'm um, getting a lot of interest on that. So we will make some paper together. All right. Um, so I put this uh, picture of Mona Lisa up. I just tore it out of a book. I love this picture. It's just inspirational to me. I'm a big Leonardo fan. And uh, um, I just like knowing that uh, he's hanging out or, or at least some of his works are hanging out with me here. Oh, this uh, cute little box, I think I got for 50 cents at the thrift store, but it also houses, yes, more stickers and very fun to rustle through here to pick out little lovelies of anything that might be wanted. So yeah, very fun, very functional. And I just put a little sticker on the front so I'd remember what was where. And sorry for the rock and roll seasickness here. Uh, I put a sticker because these are small flower and nature things. And I put a small sticker. These are like little labels and things like that. So just a basic organizational process. Okay, let's go turn. Um, what's the best way to do this? Okay, so that is my new paper organizing system. And the bottom part is the wooden thing that took us two days to assemble. I highly recommend skipping that and just finding one that is already assembled either on Craigslist or eBay or possibly a garage sale or a thrift store and just bringing it home because it's a pain in the butt to, to assemble. But 
very, very functional, very, very useful and does not collapse if it's made out of wood. So I, I was time I transitioned all my um, paper ones, my cardboard ones are starting to collapse just from overuse and abuse and uh, wear and tear. I did keep one cardboard one for bigger items because I didn't have a wooden one like that. So that's what that is up there. Just housing all sorts of old newspapers and music paper. And this now houses all my uh, scrapbook paper. So no longer do I have that big giant ugly bin full of scrapbook paper. I have it here nice and neat, easily accessible. And um, my goal is to use that stuff up. Up top, this is uh, tracing paper, uh, thin papers, uh, newsprint, large, things like that. This is uh, wallpaper. Uh, this is um, watercolor paper, all my different watercolor pads. And over here are um, uh, just large pads, paper bags, tissue paper, things like that. Okay, and then over here we have, um, these are my uh, coffee dyed papers, my avocado and specialty ink dyed pink papers. So pink papers all went in one bucket. These are my braille books. Uh, this is an ephemera holder and these are a couple of the recent uh, full page notebooks we made, the junk journals. Um, I have a video on that if you haven't seen it down below. These are oh, so good to have these organized. I pulled everything out. It was all over my house um, and I had no choice but to organize it and put it all back in a better way. And I decided since I'm here, I'm going to do a deep clean. I'm going to pull everything out, uh, vacuum behind everything, clean everything, and then arrange it a completely different way so it's more functional but also pretty. Um, so this, uh, I, it's not perfect, but I'm, I'm light years away from where I was and I'm feeling a lot better about it. So here's all my, I would say these are my least favorite, um, design, uh, tool, these, uh, trays, they're very functional. They're not very pretty, but, um, they do hold their weight and they also serve as a somewhat of a tabletop holding my papers. And uh, here I've also added, I had some big um, um, holes in the wall here uh, from previous things hanging and some missing paint. So I also just put some um, handmade paper up there as a quick little uh, wall art. There we go, just something fun. Brought in a little bit of nature, love to do that. And these could also be used as um, like thumbtack boards. Uh, so many so many uses for those things. Yes, we will make lots of those. Uh, I'm going to be making some journal covers with some new acrylic paint. Here I've stored my uh, Big Shot to, so it's easy grab and go. Here are the two journals I'm currently working on right here. Um, here, let me come over here. Hang on. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Backing up, backing up, backing up. Okay, that uh, big brown box houses all my pre-made ephemera. That's the stuff that is going to go into journals. It's all, those are all the videos that I've made with you guys. Um, and it's not organized. It's just in there, but I can at least easily access it. It's not too high. It's not too low. It's right at grab and go level, which is handy. I have a beautiful piece of um, a vintage lace linen, um, Cough, uh, tablecloth there and I've used that a little bit around the room I'll show you and I did tuck in my husband insisted that I put a fire extinguisher here because we have so much paper in this room that um, one little spark and it could all go so it's good to have a fire extinguisher in your room and those are some things I got to shove them in a little further they're going to go completely behind there but there's some flat things that can be easily tucked away I just need to tuck harder um, nothing again is perfect in here but at least it's functional I've had this hanging on my wall for a while it's where I store some of my paper punches and I just decorated it up a little bit. That is a bow uh, from my dad's violin. And here's my paper punches. I put a little uh, doily, a little cloth with, I have a little collection of old uh, pocket watches. I love old pocket watches. And I have a friend who is in the ambulance business. Um, he's uh, EMS and uh, I secured some very old, uh, ambulances I want to sh I want to give to him over time and uh, there's a little uh, yoga bunny that's my little uh, bunny who loves yoga back there this is uh, this particular drawing it is uh, tree pose when the wind blows yes that's how I always feel in yoga I'm always falling over so that's it's always very windy apparently whenever I'm doing yoga um, I haven't done much yoga in a while I need to do more yoga more yoga 
All right, uh, so well, let me back up a little bit, give you a little bit more viewage here. So up above, I have my dad's violin from when he was a young boy. I have my first, let me zoom in, uh, my, one of the first Victorian scrapbook style scrapbooks that I, I purchased, a couple of very old Bibles and um, a very old document, I think from the 1600s, 1700s. And anything else up there? Are you, oh, I, I, I moved some things around. Okay, so that's kind of a little inspirational shelf. So to give you a, a better idea of what that looks like, that's what that wall looks like. Here's my, my, my lamp, <laughs> um, giving me lots more light now. So that's that wall. Let me just back out here so you can get a better idea. You've been asking me for a long time about uh, a tour of my craft room, and now I feel like, okay, I'm ready to give a tour of my craft room, so I better do it now because um, who knows what's going to happen in 30 seconds, right? Okay, so I already see something going um, awry. awry. Uh, little puppy is having a moment with um, something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. So um, over here, I might as well just show you since uh, uh, we have Vanna White here um, demonstrating. Um, I have several cabinets with drawers, many drawers, which I had before, but I have moved them around a little bit. I had a tall one, which houses some not so pretty, um, Ziploc bags full of stuff, which is very functional, but not that pretty. So as you can see, Ziploc bags full of stuff, very functional, but not very pretty, um, but does maximize space. So, yes, thank you, honey. And, and also, little Snuffleupagus here loves to um, pull out the books on the bottom shelf. So I thought I would cover it. <laughs> I thought I would cover it, my great wisdom, with a beautiful uh, tablecloth, and that would solve the problem. Um, well, apparently, it doesn't solve the problem because now he's, in, he's infatuated with the tablecloth. Yes, life with a puppy. It's grand. It's grand, I tell you. It's grand. It is worth every second. Uh, totally love it. All right, Bumple Stillskin. Um, so up here, since we're over here, uh, okay, so I snuggled another table to make an L-shaped desk, okay, and I snuggled it up against the window so I could get some natural light, which will uh, help me crafting, and it's a prettier light, and um, uh, it's going to be better for videotaping as well, I think. Also up here, I have a... I, had these boxes but I stamped some words on them and this one houses old letters and so I just put some old stamps on the front so I could remember what's in it. Uh, here's some uh, books I'm going to be using coming up. Here's some uh, drawing uh, books just for inspiration and I started to use some of my supplies like my pencil, uh, colored pencils and these bottles um, as decor. And here's my little phone station and what else I got? Okay. Oh. All right. Up here, up high, are little books. Um, and I can show you some of the books that I have. You can always freeze these to get the names and that. But uh, little books that I tear from a lot, borrow from, uh, get inspired from. Here's my little collection of, whoops, I'm stepping on you. Sorry, Bubba. Uh, my napkins. There's my little napkin collection. Okay. And then here's some very old books as well. And these are different uh, languages. Uh, great books to tear from um, and there's actually two rows there's there's another row back there these are all my autograph books and diaries uh, from days gone by and then here is my very pretty oh who are you who are you hello hello I'm, I'm just here okay oh you found a way to get back there did you a little stinker bottom yep that's the way it goes <laughs> all right we might have to rethink that um, but over here uh, that's a picture of my mom and dad Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. And uh, I also gave them some handmade paper and uh, a leaf I had hanging around. Here's some old ledger books that I've collected over time. Um, all sorts of different ones in here. I just collected them together. I love to pull pages from these. If you know the funerary book um, that I have, uh, the Funeral Homes book, it's in there. Uh, very interesting book. Um, here are my stencils. And I'm very excited that I put my stencils. They were getting stuck together, so I separated them according to... Uh, size. So the smaller ones went here. Oh, the smallest. The smallest of small were my uh, gold metal ones. So I put those in a bag up front so I could find them because they were getting all mixed and I could never find them. It's like I didn't have them. Then my small stencils are here. And then I have big, I guess, medium stencils here. And then super big, more like um, weirdos. I want to call them weirdo stencils because they're, they're, 
There are stencils that you would use to design a room or design a box or something like that back there. And then what else do I have? Oh, I put my uh, dried flowers and stuff back here. Yeah, because they were getting crushed elsewhere. So I have a couple bags of, I have one bag of dried leaves and one bag of dried flowers. So that's all in there too. And they're super dry now, so they're okay to store in the plastic bags once they're super dry. Are you, what are you chewing on? Are you, are you eating my drawers? Hey, 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 mister. Oh, there's a little piece of plastic sticking out. There, see it? It's right there. And you're after it. I'm, yeah, I also have something else in my mouth. What is that, Mom? What is that? A piece of leaf or something? Let's see. <laughs> that's a little leaf chase. Okay, here we go. Oh, I see it. Hang on. Ah, oh, yeah. Got it. Yep, there it is. Some kind of something. <laughs> okay, let me put that over there. Who knows? What, oh, you still got it on your face. Come here. Come here. Oh, no. Come here, honey bunny. Okay, there I got it. Okay. Oh, what is that? Oh my goodness, is it glue or tape? It must be tape or something. Okay, well, oh, I got half of it. Okay. Whoop, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha, come here. All right, hold on a second. Life us interrupt us here. Hold on. Okay, we're back in action. Oh, got this little toy. All right, let me show you his little bed down here. Okay, there's this new toy. And uh, that's Sonny's new hangout place. Right there. He's got a new, that's a wolf his new wolf toy and I moved the trunk that was sitting underneath my desk which houses old books and book pages um, underneath this window which acts as an extra seat in here but it also stores okay warning this is not organized um, these are all my old book pages that I'm slowly going through it's kind of like the Tupperware drawer you know it's all in there you don't want anybody to look that's that's mine hello Yes, you, you want to look in the Tupperware drawer? Of course you do. Okay, we we removed that thing <laughs> from his face. It seems to be like some sticky green tape or something. You know, it's not, it doesn't matter how much I try and clean the floors. He's always, uh, he'll find anything that's there. Um, okay, so let's take a look at the desk area a little bit more. Okay, I'm backing up here a little bit so you can see. That's right. Okay, so this is the area now. So there's basically the original desk that is the electric desk that can go up and down. And then there's the stationary L shape add on table that I put here to give myself more working room. I have put my cutter over here. It's at the same height right now. So it's very easy, very functional. And I put all my commonly grabbed for things in this area. Okay. It's not the most beautiful presentation, but I tried to make it pretty where I could. One big thing I'm very excited about is I have now, uh, I'm using this vase, this tall vase to house my rulers, which, um, is the best use of space. I, I think he's chewing on a cord. Okay, let's look. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Mother has to do something with those cords, right? Yep, she knew better. All right, I thought I thought maybe the, uh, okay. I'll try that for a bit. Okay, now we have to tape everything up. I know, I know. Okay, you just go that way instead. Hey, hey, my little guy, come out of there. Come out of there, I don't want you to know the cords. Okay, we'll have to figure that out. <laughs> All right, never a dull moment. Okay, so, um, so yes, that uh, vase, it's just a glass vase. Very handy, very functional. Hang on, let me handle that cord situation. Okay, I think I handled the cord situation. Okay, but here, this is something I'm very excited about to show you. Yes, yes, make it look good. <laughs> I prettied up, I brought in the pretty for my glue holder. Yes, this is a plastic water bottle that I just slapped some lace on. And I tied a little bow and I glued the bottle to this cardboard base and I just covered it with some, let me give you a better view, um, music paper and just stamped some words on it. So it was pretty, inked it very quick, very easy, very functional. And that will, can now live here because I grab that all the time on my desk. So there you go. And uh, somehow I think he found the chords again. All right, you, hey, you, you. I'm going to have to do something about that. All right. Um, okay, so what else do we have here? We have uh, the cutter. We have another one of these glass things because this is good for stamping on and stuff like that. And yeah, zoom in a little bit. This is my Mod Podge ready to go. Uh, my, my uh, yeah, that, that's him playing with the cord. <laughs> hey, out of there, out of there. Never a dull moment. Um, hang on. Okay, plan C with the cords. I think I have it figured out now. He's trying to work his way around things. Can't figure it out. Good. Yay. <laughs> uh, my peg stamps. 
and my ever ready crocodile. Here is my, oh, I, I stamped a little word on the front of this and put some pins in there just for some extra pretty, you know, just amping up the pretty things that I had. Um, and you can use things that you have. You don't have to go out and buy a bunch of stuff to amp up your pretty. And uh, what do I have in here? Okay, this is my microphone cord. Oh, guess what? I'm not using my microphone cord. I just realized that. Well, hopefully that I'm holding this, you can, you can hear this video because um, I'm holding it pretty close to my face. I'll take a listen. And paper clips. Um, daubers, commonly used inks, my water trough, and my, uh, um, paintbrushes. Yay! Okay, so up here, I hung my hiking trail sign, and I have some rows of string with <clears throat> clips so that I can hang pop projects that need to dry. That was there before, but I am keeping my scissors hung here because that way they're close at the ready, and, uh, I can easily grab, go, and use them, and just, um, um, and I have big light up here for light, extra light on this side. Okay, so I'll give you a little tour around this way. This is what it looks like. Okay, there's my light. This way. Go too fast. I know it's a lot faster on video. Okay, I'll do a tour around like this. And then, so, yeah, I feel like, um, I invited a little pretty in where I didn't really have a lot of pretty there before. The pretty was hiding. I needed to, I, I, keep, I keep my tripod here. Probably should have used it for this, but hey, too late now. Um, let me do a some more zoom out so you can get a better wide angle view of what we got going. Oh, oh that's the bear. Okay, I thought it was him. Here's the window. Oh, going slow, going slow. Going slow. Whoop, that was a little fast. Going slow, going slow. So a lot more organization. I'm very thankful to my husband for taking his piano out because it gave me that entire wall over there where my parents' picture is and uh, allowed me to spread things out. And it motivated me to get the room clean. And all I can say is it had to happen. I was postponing it, delaying it. A lot of, uh, you know, to-dos I thought before ahead of time. Obviously, have to figure out something better with this. Oh, we'll figure that out later. Okay, that's all right. We'll, we'll do that. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, I encourage you to bring the spring in. Welcome it. And um, yeah, he's digging on something, a little piece of plastic bag or something that's sticking out there. Um, and I'll back out here so you can get a, an idea of the entire space. There's the lights up there. I have bit, uh, 100 watt. Like, they're not really 100 watt. They're like, you know... 13 watt that acts like 100 watt, you know, one of those deals. But four 100 watt type bulbs up there to give me a lot of light in the room, plus the LED light, plus the little extra light over there clipped onto the partition against the window, plus the daylight. So yeah, getting enough light onto the projects is always um, is important. Um, so there you go, folks. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little tour. I hope maybe uh, you might be inclined to bring some pretty into your crafting space or crafting room or crafting area, or at least give it the old springtime deep cleaning that um, may need to be done. Um, I know you'll feel a lot better about it. Um, and it's a healthier place for you to hang out in. And, uh, you know, if you have pets and I'd love to hear your stories about how you, <laughs> how you craft and have pets at the same time. <laughs> it's always so much fun. Yes, Holly, we have you too. Yes, we do. Okay. Hang on. Everybody always asks about Holly and the birds. Okay. So here's Holly and the birds. Hi, this is uh, us in the kitchen and let's just say hello. Hello, Holly. Are you waiting to go upstairs with Dad? He gets free time upstairs with Dad, and he can walk around. He has a special stand up there. He crawls up and down and hangs out. Oh, you're waiting for your breakfast. Oh, that's what it is. You're right. Yeah, I'm a little slow on the, the breakfast train this morning. I will get right on it, son. Promise. And here's my lovies. This is uh, Sunny. at uh, Sunny. This is um, um, <laughs> Happy and Leonardo. Leonardo is the yellow one, and Happy is the uh, peach face, the green one. And uh, so those are where the sounds come from that you guys <laughs> hear. So here they are. Hi, Holly Bear. What you doing? You gonna come over and say hello? You gonna come over and eat me? Yes? Okay. All right, big guy. Good to see ya. Hello, hello. Okay. So you tell them, you tell them. All right. Um, Holly says, remember to have fun and that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon. 
And the lovey say, don't forget, mom has an Amazon shop, an Etsy store, and a free monthly emailed newsletter. And all links are down below. All you got to do is uh, click on the drop down box and you'll find all the links and you can check everything out. She has favorite tools and supplies, uh, vintage digital kits, and journals and bundles that come out occasionally. And uh, what else? What else we got? What else we got? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Hello, sunshine. Hi, mom. Hi, everybody. Um, I just want to make sure everybody's having a good time. And there was a lot of action around here this weekend. And it was quite the thing. Um, but I want to give you a big kiss. Can I be a big kiss? Okay. All right. I'm going to I'm gonna sign off now because I have to go explore my new space. Yeah. All right. Take care, everyone. Bye.